Okay, I want to thank everybody for checking out my videos and for the nice comments that y'all have made. Tonight's episode, very short, I've been out here a couple of hours and it's a lot more work than it looks like. The, um, I was just drilling and tapping a couple of five, number 5 by 40 thread holes inside the bottom of the, the mud ring of the boiler. And this, I use this side to illustrate. Marty used, I think, quarter inch thick steel and I wanted to be very, very careful to have the center of each of the screws just an eighth of an inch in because I'm using the 540. I didn't want to go into the water. There's actually a water jacket that goes around the outside here. So I want to be very, very careful, place the holes. So I did the back ones first and it's and a very nice fit and I'll come up here you can see at first I had a couple of matching holes here and then I used my little center punch nice little stair at center punch that I bought I think I got that off of eBay to try to locate the holes on the piece of steel in there and when I did that I realized that the centers of them were far too close just illustrating here you know um, far too close to the edge so then I remeasured, drilled a couple more holes. Um, this one came out good, or actually this one did. Um, this one, when I redid it, it was a little too far the other way. So I did a third one in the center here, and um, luckily, just by splitting the difference, I got the exact right dimension. I'll take this off. I'll unbolt it tomorrow and show you exactly where the holes are and what that looks like maybe it'll make a little bit more sense I had to clean up the threads a little bit here the pipe threads for the gas fitting I wanted to see how that would sit in relation to the chassis of the locomotive so anyway got this all nice and snug and tight and the boiler is sitting upside down here and waiting for the next episode I'll probably thinking the next thing I'll do is to put the um, fire the firebox door on. I'll do that tomorrow. I pre-drilled the holes in the corners and it'll be more of a more of the same as far as locating it, marking the holes, drilling and tapping. I plan to use number five by forty stainless screws as well to hold that in place. So that'll be tomorrow and I will keep you posted. Thanks for watching everybody. Have a good evening.